we know you have lots of choices. Thank you for picking Family Life Mornings. Mama, I'm running away. Aww. I want to see the whole world. Okay. That was the note that a mother in Russia found from her eight-year-old. Wow. So where did he go? What did he pack? Did he make it? Uh, it didn't really take long for police to, found it, to find him. Uh, his backpack was feeling pretty heavy by then. All right. uh, he was feeling pretty tired. He just wanted to get home to his mom. Mm-hmm. He did make it on three different bus trips, though, oh. but not very far from home. He might have survived a little longer. I mean, he had all the essentials. Mm-hmm. His entire piggy bank, right? A banana. Oh yeah, and two encyclopedias. <laughs> I think he would have gotten a lot farther if he had left the two encyclopedias. <laughs> Those are heavy. <laughs> Those are heavy. It'll weigh you down. Always here first thing, and no funky morning breath. Family life mornings. Here I'm not alone, and this is a parent. If you have a teenager who drives for the uh-huh. very first time, now they've driven before and they've had a right. lot of driving experience, but it's with someone else. But uh, is that true that that very first time your teenager drives for the first time by themselves? Yes, it's a little bit nerve wracking. Totally nerve wracking. <laughs> so imagine the parents of 18 year old Mason Andrews, Monroe, Louisiana, when he went out. And 76 days later, what? Well, he got stuck in uh, for a few weeks in the typhoons in the Philippines. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait How did he seconds. get there? How did he get out of Louisiana? <laughs> <laughs> Mason Andrews has become the youngest pilot oh my. to fly solo around the world. What? 76 days. So, did you say how old he is? 18. 18. 18. Yep. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. Can you imagine that argument, though? I'm an adult now. I can fly anywhere I want. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrating God's goodness and having a little fun along the way. It's Steve, Therese, and Randy on Family Life, a friend you can turn to. Here, Garfield. Here, Tabby. Come here. No, I'm not. Talk- I'm not talking to you two. Uh, thank you. <laughs> well, right. that's good since those aren't our names. No, you're not. <laughs> However, uh-huh. do you call your cat by name? And sometimes maybe they look at you or come to you. Maybe sometimes they don't. A study has shown now that cats actually do, if repeated over and over again, recognize their own names, even if it comes from an unfamiliar person's voice. So that's new. That we know now that cats do recognize their name. But here's what's not new. When you call their name and they just sit there and kind of glare and look at you and just sit uh-huh. there. Uh-huh. Right. Haven't we known this all along? They just right. don't care. <laughs> right. <laughs> they just don't do care. know. They uh, just don't care. That's right. A fresh start. A fresh cup of coffee. And fresh perspective. From Family Life Mornings. The texting fail last year during prom season <laughs> when uh, the dates were wondering, okay, what kind of corsage would you like? But corsage uh-huh. came out as croissant. And mm-hmm. then they thought it was a good idea, uh, so they continued but putting little croissants on their wrist. And then this year, a restaurant who's famous for their croissants uh, decided, okay, I'm going to do this. And we're going to put out the croissant with a little baby's breath and flowers. Although, for me, they can just leave the baby's breath and flowers off. Right. And I'll just eat just some yeah. butter. <laughs> right, just some butter. Yeah. So we're just asking you to be a little uh-huh. clever this morning. Morning and yeah. uh, come up with different ideas besides your croissant. What would you like to have on there during your prom? Right, huh? yeah, yeah. yeah, it goes with your formal wear. Mary Ellis in green says, "How about one of those Hostess honey buns?" Oh. And I like that. You could surround that with a spray of roses. That kind of looks lovely. like a corsage. It, it does. Date, it does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> TJ in Elmira says cannoli. I'm not sure how that would look, but I love how a cannoli tastes. So it doesn't matter how it <laughs> there looks. You right. Go. Mary Ellis in green says, "How about one of those Hostess honey buns?" Oh. And I like that. You could surround that with a spray of roses. My so it looks lovely. like a corsage. It does, date, it does, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> TJ in Elmira says cannoli. I'm not sure how that would look, but I love how a cannoli tastes, so it doesn't matter how it <laughs> there looks, you right? Go. <laughs> got, uh, got Nancy in York, which, oh, by the way, I peppermint patty would be good. Peppermint oh, York, yeah. peppermint yeah. patty. Yeah, go ahead, Nancy. I thought if your wrist was, or your hand was small enough to stick your your hands through a bagel. Oh, put the whole bagel right Instead of like a bangle, it's a bagel. <laughs> yeah, there you like go. It. Just not an onion one. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, every, no. Uh, everything bagel. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, because you know why. Why? It goes with everything. everything. <laughs> <laughs> They're here to wake you up, pick you up, and lift you up. Steve, Teresa, and Randy on Family Life. A friend you can turn to. We are your summer idea vacation I people. Love it. Giving you ideas of places to go, things to do, and we'll spread them out uh, throughout the next coming weeks and months. Mm-hmm. And number one, this has been going on for five years down in Texas. You may want to think about it for the family, just a fun time for the whole family. It's called Jaws on the Water. 
Which just does not <laughs> sound like a good idea. Sharkified inner tube, fireworks displays, and the thrilling one-of-a-kind experience watching cinema's greatest great wh- great whites. And you do it with your feet dangling nope. in the water. Nope, oh. nope, 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 nope. I wouldn't even make it through like the opening scene. Well, some people would really think it's exciting. This whole idea is bad. Well, some other people would just say, can we stay home and watch the DVD <laughs> March of the Penguins? <laughs> Thank you. This my popcorn is soggy. <laughs> this is Family Life. A friend you can turn to. Oh, what a beautiful baby. Have you ever known somebody who has a brand new baby? Mm. It might be somebody in your church, and you're like, I want to help you. What can I do to help? And what do they always say? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I got it. Nothing. No, we're good. No, we're we're, no yeah, no, no. And so it might just be, you know, like a sense of pride or maybe guilt from needing help from other people. So one of the ways that you can actually really help somebody who's just had a new baby is ask them about something really specific. Like, can I go to the grocery store for you? And they might be like, oh, yeah, we really need wipes or, you know, I really need whatever. And then you can do that. Another thing you can do is to take a meal that's frozen, that's in a disposable container. So they can put it in their freezer. And when they want it, it could be like on the kid's first birthday. They could thaw it out and bake it, but they've got it. And another thing is to send a note of encouragement. And this is different than the congratulations on your baby card. This is a note that says, even though you haven't slept or showered in days, Right. You're still doing awesome. Family Life Mornings with Steve, Therese, and Randy. Thanks for making us part of your day. We're a friend you can turn to. If only you were wearing your power color. Oh, what's that? Oh. There's, you know how sometimes you wear something people are like, man, that's your color, you know? Oh, and yeah. Especially if you have to, like, speak up in front of a bunch of people mm-hmm. or, you know, give a presentation or something. You want to be wearing a color that makes you feel Awesome. Maybe going to a job interview. Most people, their power color is like a blue, a green, or purple. Okay, I was going to say blue, yeah. Right. But how do you know which one? Like, are you turquoise? Are you, you know, violet? Well, the answer is inside your wrist. This blew my mind, guys. Really? Look inside your wrist. Do you see that big vein that comes down, like, from your hand down? And it's, like, it's blue, right? Right. Some people, it's more, like, turquoise-ish. Really? And some people, it's more, like violet blue and some people it's more like bright blue some people it's more like a dark blue that's your power color wow it's like god gave you the answer right there inside your wrist i sort of feel like i'm cheating on a math test but i know it's like how you find out what color do you want uh i'll go vain i was gonna say my mine i can't see a color it's like it's just the skin skin color. You look great in everything. (laughs) Make sure you wake up early so you don't miss a thing. Family Life Mornings.